Uh, welcome back. This is factoring part five, I think. Maybe it's four. I don't know. Sorry if this is wrong. But this is Lizzie method, and this is again for trinomials. I'm doing the same eight problems, but I'm using the technique called the Lizzie method. Uh, I don't want to get into details about why it's called Lizzie method, and I might be wrong anyways. All right, so let's start. Here's how the Lizzie method works, and this is very strange. Uh, it's similar to the grouping method. Uh, it starts the same way. You take the 6 times negative 2, makes negative 12. And then look at the factors of negative 12 that combine to make the middle term of negative 1. And it's going to be negative 4, positive 3. And this is where it gets weird. x squared means you go ahead and make them x and x. Notice I'm ignoring the 6. Minus, minus because it's negative 4, the 4 is negative, and 4, notice how weirdly I'm writing that, plus 3, yeah, weird again. What we're going to do, now we come back and bring back the 6, and it's always the leading coefficient, and we stick the leading coefficient under those terms. This is the, this is also something weird about Lindsay method, you have to reduce. If you don't reduce, it doesn't work. 4, 6 is 2 thirds. 3, 6 is 1 half. If you were solving uh, and it involved this trinomial, you could stop here and just start solving. But if you're being asked to factor, you have to move this. You don't want to leave this a fraction. What happens is you're going to move the denominator up forward. So this becomes 3x minus 2. Again, you're going to move this denominator forward, making it 2x plus 1. That's the factored form. And that's the Lizzie method. Number two. Okay, multiply. 10 times 15, 150. I already forgot what the answers were. What was it? Ah, 25 and 6, right? Negative 25, negative 6. It takes both negatives to become positive, and we want both negatives to be make the negative 31. Okay, I said that kind of funny. Well, hopefully you understand it. All right, lazy method. X, X minus 25 over leading coefficient, 10. Minus 6 over leading coefficient, 10. Reduce the fractions. 5 goes into both top and bottom, 5 halves. Two goes to the top and bottom, three fifths. Move the denominator forward. There you go, that's number two. Remember, you can always pause these videos once you see the problem and see if you can do the problem on your own. All right? Like now is a good time to pause it if you want to try this. All right, here we go. Three times negative eight, negative 24. One of the factors a negative 24 that I subtract to make 10. See, I just did this like 10 minutes ago and I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. And I think I made the same mistake. Negative 12, positive 2 gives me a negative 10. So I'm going to need it backwards. I want positive 12, negative 2. So here we go. X plus 12, written funny. X minus 2, 2 written funny. Don't forget the leading coefficient. It goes under both of them. Reduce. That one, the second binomial doesn't reduce, so I can just rewrite it. There we go. Done. Lizzie method. Number four. Okay. Pause. Or not. 15 times 2 is 30. What screams? Factors of 30 that adds up to 13. 10 and 3. X, X, right? Because it's X squared. If it were X to the fourth, I'd put X squared, X squared. Okay, anyways. So let's put the 10. It's positive 10. Positive 3. Over the leading coefficient. Reduce. What's that? Two thirds? Yeah. And that's one-fifth. That's a five. Pretend you can read that. 
Move the denominator forward. And there you go. That's number four. Number five. Alright, take the opportunity to try it yourself. Or not. What's 8 times negative 27? <clears throat> I can't remember. Oh, it's negative 216. Oh, I can't remember it. What are the factors of negative 216 to make negative 30? <sighs> By the way, I know I'm just kind of dropping these factors. You have, you can take the time yourself. And if you're having problems coming up with the factors to come out of negative 30, there's always a really long way to do it. Just start with one. Well, you know that's too far apart. So we'll go on to two. That's what, 108? Still too far. Three, three is probably too far. We'll write it down anyways. What's that? 72? Four. Four going to that? I guess so. Four goes into that 54 times. Is that right? Is it? Hello? Maybe not. Five times, four times four is 16. Five times four is 20. Okay, looks right. Five doesn't go into it. Six. Oh, 36. Negative six plus 36 is 30. So we just want this other way. We want negative 36 and positive six. Okay. So here we go. X. Remember, we want positive negative. So it's going to be plus six over eight. X. Minus 36 over 8. Don't forget to reduce. That's uh, 3 fourths. What's this one? 4 ones in that, 4 ones in that. 9 halves. So it's 4x plus 3. 2x minus 9. Okay. Next, number 6. Multiply 6 and negative 4. Negative 24. Ooh, this is easy. Negative 24, positive 1. Combine to make negative 23. X, X. Minus 24 over leading coefficient. 6. Plus 1 over leading coefficient of 6. Reduce. X minus 4. Oh, that one can't reduce, so bring the 6 forward. 6X six plus 1. Voila. Number 6. 7. Okay, six times eight, six times five is thirty. What are the factors of thirty to combine to make negative eleven? Well, they have to add to make that, so they're gonna both be negative. Negative six, negative five, add up negative eleven. Oops. It's x x minus six over the leading coefficient, six minus five over the leading coefficient. Reduce that doesn't reduce. Bring the six forward. That's number seven. Last example. This is number eight. Oh, what's 18 times 15? See, I did this like not too long ago. That's 90, that's 180. 270. Oh, good thing that's easy to factor. 27 and 270 is 27 and 10. And they have to subtract. Subtract to make negative 17. So that's good. Uh, because we want negative 27, positive 10 makes negative 17. All right. So we do. X, X. All right. Because X squared. Uh, minus 27 over leading coefficient of 18. Plus 10 over the leading coefficient of 18. And how does that reduce? 9 goes into both numerator and denominator. How does that one reduce? Divide by 2. Move your denominators up. And there you go. That's a lazy method. And I'm done.